everyone and welcome back so today's look is another um, Halloween inspired look this look is actually a 1920s um, inspired flapper girl makeup look now a thing about me that you guys probably don't know is that I'm really really obsessed with time period makeup so um, I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more time period looks for you guys because we're in the Halloween season so yeah so this look is actually perfect for a Halloween or a costume party so um, 1920s is one of my favorite makeup look because it is the time period the birth of the smoky eye and I'm obsessed with smoky eye I'm pretty sure you guys already know that so yeah this is the look that I'm gonna be doing for you guys this is a really really easy Easy and simple look to achieve if you'd like to see how I achieve the look then please continue to watch for the 1920s look the brows are a huge part of this look um, the brows are very um, thin and they kind of go more in a round shape and then elongate at the end so the first thing I'm going to do is fill in my brow and I'm using a brow pencil so I'm using stud by MAC and it's like a dark brown shade brow pencil So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my brow and I'm using some concealer under my brow. Now as for the eyeshadow look, it's really, really, really simple and really easy to achieve. So first thing I'm going to do is apply a pink pot to my eyelid. Now you can use a darker base for your eyelid just to make that eyeshadow a bit more darker, but this one works perfectly fine. So I'm using Soft Ochre by MAC. So this is just going to give my eyeshadow something to stick to and it's going to make it last a little bit longer throughout the day as well. So I'm just applying this all over the eyelid and I also apply some along the bottom lash line as well because we're going to be applying eyeshadow there. So the first thing I'm doing is applying a brown eyeshadow in the crease and this is just going to be our transition color for when we mix the black eye, for when we apply the black eyeshadow. So it's going to blend really nicely with the black. And I'm using a 224 blending brush to apply this. So I'm just placing this in the crease area. Next, I'm going to take a silver eyeshadow and I'm just going to place this in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm using that same 224 blending brush to apply. So next, I'm going to grab a matte black eyeshadow and this is Carbon by MAC. I'm just going to pat that onto the lid. And the more you pat the eyeshadow on, the more um, darker and more intense it's going to look so you don't want to pull it or drag it you just want to pat it on and so now i'm going to be using my 217 blending brush i'm just going to blend out that harsh line and like i said before let's try to keep it in a round shape i'm just going to blend it back and forth like so don't want to go too high up with this either so we're just going to go just a little bit above the crease I'm going to grab my bigger 224 blending brush just to smooth out the edges as well now I'm going to use a black eye pencil and this one is by L'Oreal so it's the extra intense liquid pencil eyeliner so I'm placing this along my waterline and also under my lash line as well. So I'm going to go back into carbon with a pencil brush and I'm just going to place this along my lash line. I'm going to give it that nice dark smoky effect on the bottom lash line as well. So placing this at the outer corner of the eye as well because we want to keep the eye in that very round shape. Now I'm going to use my 217 blending brush to blend away the harsh lines. And as you can see, I'm just blending the outer corner as well. So we want to blend the outer corner as well, just to give it that nice brow shape. 
So now that the eyes are complete, next we're going to go ahead and apply some mascara to our lashes. So with this look, I'm definitely going to apply some falsies and you want to keep the falsies somewhat um, natural. You don't want them to be too dramatic. So I'm going to be using some wispy lashes. I can't remember what number these are, but these are from the brand Eyelashes. Next, I'm going to apply a soft rose pink shade blush to the apples of my cheek. So to apply my blush, I'm using a blush brush. So another important step to this look is the lips and how they were filled in and so they're kind of, um, the cupid bow was more round and the lip were, um, they appeared a little bit smaller. So I'm going to create my lips, I'm going to blot my lips out with foundation which I kind of already did when I applied my foundation so I'm just going to touch it up just a little bit more. So I applied the foundation onto my sponge, I'm just going to block out my lips. So as for my lips, I'm going to line and fill them in and I'm going to use a deep red um, lip pencil. This one, I'm not sure what brand this is, um, but you can use any deep red lip pencil to do so. So we created that round cupid bow shaped lip. Next, I'm going to apply a lipstick and I'm using a deep red shade lipstick. You could also use a deep berry shade lipstick as well. And this one is um, Deeply Adore from MAC and this is from the Marilyn um, lipstick. If you don't have this one, um, another shade you could use is also Diva. It would work perfectly for this look as well. So because I want it to look a little bit darker, I'm going to add some Night Moth lip pencil to this as well. I'm using my lip brush to define the lips a bit more and give it a nice sharp cupid's bow and it's just going to make the lips look a lot more perfect. And the look is pretty much completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!